Recently, Radian Telescopes has come out with the brand new Raptor 61. But is it worth the hefty price tag? Hi, I'm Tom from Avid Astronomy. In this video, we will be comparing the Raptor 61 to the Samyang 135mm f2.0 lens. To test these astrophotography tools, we're going to use the same camera and the same target in order to get a fair comparison. And what is this target, you may ask? Well, of course, the Orion Nebula, the, one of the most brightest and beautiful objects in our night sky currently. To start our comparison, we'll compare what these two tools come with. The Samyang 135 comes only with the lens for $500. The Raptor 61, however, comes with the optical tube, hexa hex hexagonal rings, hexagonal, fun word to say, the Radian Universal Dovetail Plate, as well as a Vixen style dovetail plate, which in my opinion is a little short for what you need. And also a carrying bag and a few other small accessories like a calendar for the solar, for the lunar year. And so is that worth a thousand dollars? You also have to keep in mind, you have to buy some small things like a M48 camera adapter that fits your camera. Okay, now we'll go to my backyard so I can show you exactly what setup I'll be using. So I couldn't use my microphone outside because of the wind. So instead I'm just gonna voice over some pictures I took with my iPhone. First I have the Raptor 61 connected to it is the Canon Rebel T6 and below that it's all on the Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro. Okay, here's the first image from the Raptor 61. This is a stack of about 22 minute long frames and compare that to the stacked image from the Samyang 135 and of course it has a wider field of view so I zoomed in a bit here you can see a little bit more in this image it's probably because I underexposed the Raptor 61 which is just the thing with new equipment you're bound to make mistakes like I should have exposed this for another 30 seconds but and here's the final of the image from the Samyang. And see how you can see a lot of the dust and beautiful colors. The only problem is you can see these little artifacts when you zoom in. Like these little like lines you got coming here. Those aren't natural and you can't really see much of the the beautiful like dust lanes in this whereas in the one from the Raptor 61 while I wasn't able to get all that dust mainly because of my underexposure I was able to get a lot of beautiful detail in there about a lot of those artifacts and it's a little noisy just because of the lack of exposures. Again, I had a lot of problems with my camera equipment dying and, and with this new equipment, it's very hard to keep the correct polar alignment and get tracking perfect. So I had a lot of images I had to chuck because there's a lot of star trailing in them compared to the Samyang where it's so wide field that Star trailing just isn't a thing. Of course, you also get these artifacts here where the lens is creating a halo around.
around it, which you can see is not the case in the Raptor 61. So what did you guys think? In my opinion, it comes down to your experience. The Samyang 135mm is very good if you're trying to shoot wide field targets that are very massive or you're not that experienced and just starting out. It makes it easier to track objects and get a lot of detail in a short amount of time. The Raptor 61 on the other hand I would use more if you're either more experienced or you want to get more detailed images. The Raptor 61 has a much greater focal length and is therefore able to get much better images. It also matters what kind of camera you're using. If you're using full frame, I definitely push more towards the Raptor 61 because you'll have similar wide fields to the Samyang with my crop sensor than you would to my Raptor 61 with my crop sensor. But if you're using a crop sensor, either option is very good for you. Of course, full frames is always better because it collects more light. But when you're on a budget, sometimes an APC crop sensor is just the way to go. So what do you guys think is the best? Leave a comment in the, the comments below telling me which one you think is better. I hope you guys have a great day. I gotta get back out shooting the stars and I hope you keep staring at them.